I'm Linda and I'm here to share my story about being diagnosed with a pancreatic cyst to make people aware and provide a bit more information of procedures and that they can have done, be reassured by it and feel confident in their consultants and things like that. In Linda's case she was referred from a neighbouring hospital following a non-invasive scan which suggested a mass in the neck of the pancreas. From having the symptoms I had the scans done and then I went on to have a conversation with a consultant who then offered the endoscope procedure with the needle and the fibre optics. Dr Pereira explained the procedure. To describe optical biopsies to a patient I first describe the endoscopic ultrasound procedure. So I talk about needing to fast beforehand, that they come in and have a light sedative, a scope, which is a thin tube, goes through the mouth into the stomach, and we visualise the pancreas either through the back of the stomach or through the upper small bowel by ultrasound. The Sylvicio system takes place under the same sedation, and it's a fine probe which goes through a small needle directly into the cyst so that we can look at the cells inside the cyst. We thought this was a cystic lesion of the pancreas, and proceeded to an endoscopic ultrasound and Silvicio to get more information about it. I was very anxious about having it done, but obviously after having a chat with Dr Pereira, it settled the nerves a bit. From a patient's perspective, the Silvicio system only adds an extra five to 10 minutes to the whole endoscopic ultrasound procedure and allows us sometimes to give a definitive diagnosis of the type of cyst they have and to be able to and relay that back to the patient as soon as they wake up. It was a very stressful time and having this procedure would enable them to have a look and give me an answer at the end. What it actually showed us was that although the endoscopic ultrasound did show it was a cystic lesion, the confocal endomicroscopy that we performed confirmed that this had a typical appearance of a serous cyst which is a benign cyst which required no further follow-up and we were able to reassure Linda about the results. I don't remember much about the procedure but afterwards Dr Pereira came and explained that they looked at the fluid in the cyst and at the wall and it was cancer free so I was very relieved. In a benign cyst we're looking for very well organised clear cells. In a cancerous cyst however the cells appear very dark and disorganised and in Linda's case we saw what's called a superficial vascular network, which is typical of a benign serous cyst. I would recommend the procedure done, really to give peace of mind. There are options out there for people that aren't so daunting. It's less invasive and it gives you reassurance at the end of it. Rather than being stressed for a two week period, you know at the end of the day that it's not cancer and you can go and enjoy life, really.